editing and more buttons. You can click the edit button in the bottom left to edit the current note. When you finish editing, you will be returned to study. The editing screen works very similarly to the add note screen. At the bottom right of the review screen is a button labeled more. This button provides some other operations you can do on the current card or note. The first one of these, flag card. This option adds a colored marker to the card or toggles it off. Flags appear during study and you can search for flag cards in the browse screen. This is useful when you want to take some action on the card at a later date, such as looking up a word when you get home. Mark note. This option adds a mark tag to the current note, so it can be easily found in the browser. This is similar to flagging individual cards, but works with a tag instead. So if the note has multiple cards, all cards will appear in a search for the mark tag. Most users will want to use flex instead. Marking is mainly left around for compatibility with older Anki versions. Bury card or not. This option hides a card or all of the notes card from reviewing until the next day. If you want to unbury cards before then, you can click the unbury button on the deck overview screen. This is useful if you cannot answer the card at the moment or you want to come back it, uh, to it another time. Burying also uh, happen automatically for cards of the same note. If cards were in learning when they are buried, they are moved back to the new card queue or review queue prior to being buried. Suspend cards or note option. This option hides a card or all of the notes card from review until they are manually unsuspended by clicking the suspend button in the browser. This is useful if you want to avoid reviewing the note for some time but don't want to delete it. If cards were in learning when they are suspended they are moved back to the new card queue or review queue prior to being suspended. Delete notes. This option delays the notes and all of its cards. Options. Edit the options for the current deck. Replay audio. Um, if the card has audio on the front or back. This option play it again. Record on voice option. This option records from your microphone for the purposes of checking your pronunciation. This recording is temporary and will go away when you move to the next card. If you want to add audio to a card permanently, you can do that in the edit window. Replay on voice option, replay the previous recording of your voice.